Hi, I'm Marcia Harmoning with Happy Stash Quilts, and I want to introduce you to my new book with uh, CNT Publishing called Flip and Fuse Quilts. This book contains 12 projects, and all of them use a method of applique that does not involve hand and needlework. It's all done by machine, and I call it simply Flip and Fuse. Let's show you how it works. Here's how the flip and fuse process works. First, you want to select a lightweight fusible interfacing to use. And there's two options that I really recommend. The first one is the wash away applique sheets by CNT. And these are uh, lightweight fusible interfacing sheets that come on an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet of paper that you can put right through your home printer and save you from having to trace um, each of the applique shapes. The other option is the Pellon 911FF product and it comes on a 20 inch wide bolt that is, um, that's available at most places. Now there's advantages and disadvantages to both. The advantage to uh, the CNT product is that you don't have to trace all of your pieces. But it does cost a little bit more, but it might be worth it for convenience sake. The other product the Pellon, it's a little less expensive, but it is, um, but you are going to have to trace your individual pieces. So what it boils down to, both product is great, uh, work great, but you will want to just evaluate your own need for time versus money. Once you have selected your stabilizer, you're going to take your applique shape and you're going to take your either copied or traced piece of lightweight fusible interfacing and that you've traced off of your pattern. Then you're going to put that piece of interfacing directly on a piece of fabric. And you want the glue side to be facing the right side of the fabric. Once you do that, you're next going to want to sew a line uh, directly on your drawn line to connect the two pieces. Next, you're going to just simply trim about an eighth of an inch beyond the sew line, and you're going to want to cut a slit in your interfacing, but you want to be careful not to cut the background fabric. Once you have that unit in place, now you can flip this entire unit inside out. And you can use a little, what I like to use is a little Phillips head screwdriver or some other blunt instrument. And you're going to use it to push out the little corners and tips of your applique pieces. And then just finger press the edges around to create now your applique piece. Once your applique piece has been turned inside out so that now the glue side of the fusible interfacing is on the back and the right side of the fabric is on the front of the, the unit. All of your raw edges are now turned under and you are ready to take a hot iron and fuse this piece to a piece of background fabric. Once that applique piece is fused in place, you are now ready to go ahead and sew um, a stitch around the edge of the applique piece to attach it to the background block or your quilt top. I like to use either a blind hem stitch, but you can also use a zigzag stitch or a straight stitch if you would like. I like to use clear monofilament thread um, on the top and for the back side though I go ahead and use a cotton thread in the bobbin. You may want to consider lowering your top tension slightly in order to not have the bobbin thread show to the top. And now that you know how easy the flip and fuse technique is, welcome to the wonderful world of flip and fuse applique. Happy quilting!